So I've decided to make a, a five grain 58 millimeter motor. You see my grains over there in my incredibly messy garage. Um, so I've got the uh, liner here um, and I'm going to cut it down. I need uh, 16 and a half inches um, and that'll give me a little room for adjusting. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it and uh, be back in a minute. So this next video here, I'm going to show you how I go about packing uh, my rocket motors. What I have here is uh, my homemade igniter. Um, I'm going to show you how I make them. This is a solderless design. So no soldering, no burning your fingers, and uh, they seem to work every time. Uh, I don't have to go get uh, any nichrome wire. I've got my, uh, my tube that I just uh, cut, and it's got some uh, grease in there or some some grease in there. I slid it in the motor casing just to make sure. My five, uh, my five grains and the O-rings for the uh, for the for the, the bulkhead and the uh, nozzle. So the way that I go about doing this is top grain goes in first, of course. So I can't do that to talk at the same time here, so I'm going to stop the recorder and come back and show you uh, what the finished product looks like. So I've got all five grains in and uh, I just slide the, the O-rings in there. Um, so what I used for packing is I've got a vacuum sealer uh, and I cut about a two foot piece length uh, and cut it down the center and seal it up and slide it in and I'll show you what uh, what the finished product looks like here in a second. Alright, so I finally got it uh, vacuum sealed. I had a, had a hole in the bag so I had to take the bag apart and redo it. So. Uh, and then I label it and put it away for storage and light. So that's how I go about making my motors from start to finish. Um, thanks a lot for watching.